Elon Musk just started producing this new $5,000 Tesla. Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla, recently commented in an interview with the Wall Street Journal that Tesla will be manufacturing an autonomous vehicle priced at $5,000. Using Tesla's new battery cells and battery manufacturing efforts, he believes the company will be able to achieve the same competitive price points, resulting in a drop in battery costs of over 50%. Some reports indicate that at the Gigafactory Shanghai in China, the Tesla electric car, also known as the Model 2, will be produced and exported to other countries around the world. So what is this new car? And how can Musk even make a car at this price? Well, as you know, there's one way to find out. Give the video a thumbs up and stay tuned to find out. Hello everyone, welcome to Genius's Guide, your daily dose of geniusness. Elon Musk announced during Tesla's first quarter financial report for 2022 that the company is currently working on a $5,000 car, which will be released in the near future. Apparently, Musk is focusing his attention on the development of his full self-driving system. Elon Musk announced at the conference for the 2020 Tesla Battery Day that the next model of Tesla will be marketed as the world's smallest battery electric vehicle, but plans to make it the most affordable Tesla model yet. It is expected to prove to be a viable alternative to the Volkswagen ID3 in the near future. In addition to that, around a year ago, Tesla started accepting design entries for its small electric car, which is a model produced in China. A few months later, the company started hiring people in order to implement the program. There was also an early design drawing published by the automaker showing an electric vehicle. According to some of these comments, a large number of people believed it was the design direction and form factor for Tesla's upcoming electric vehicle. However, the question we need to ask is, why is Musk doing this? The answer to that question has to do with just how much it costs to make an electric vehicle in the first place. It's a well-known fact that when the first Tesla Roadster debuted in 2008, components for electric cars were extremely expensive. Due to this, it made financial sense for Tesla to sell its cars at a high price in order to gain a significant share of the market. Since then, the cost of all these parts has dropped dramatically, which is why Tesla is now able to produce cheaper, smaller electric cars without having to go bankrupt. Take as an example the Renault Zoe, which is a car released by Renault in 2011. With a battery capacity of 52 kilowatt hours, this super mini has a range of 245 miles and is priced less than 30,000 pounds. There is no doubt that the original Tesla Roadster was the most expensive car ever manufactured when it had a 53 kilowatt hour battery and could go for 230 miles at a cost of almost 60,000 pounds. And almost 13 years later, it is still the most expensive car ever manufactured. In spite of this, this new Tesla car is going to feature a new type of battery when it finally arrives on our shores, which will be more powerful, more sustainable, and more affordable thanks to a tabletop design using a new type of connector to join the individual cells together. Comparing these batteries to conventional batteries, they are about 35% smaller, have a greater capacity to store and dissipate energy, and have a lower risk of overheating as well. With Tesla's new cells, it is estimated that the new cars will be able to drive about 16% further per kilowatt hour of battery. It should be noted that even though the battery pack in this new car has less than half the capacity of the one in the Model 3 Standard Range Plus, its tabless construction should allow it to handle at least 160 miles on a single charge. A report earlier stated that some Chinese media outlets had reported that this vehicle's production could begin by the end of the year. Despite this, we have been warned that this kind of situation is unlikely to occur. However, since Tesla has opened its Gigafactory in Berlin, there might be a chance for this to happen very soon. In addition, now that Elon Musk has just completed a company-wide meeting within the past few days, we have improved our ability to estimate the time frame from which the new cheaper Tesla model will be released into the market. Musk mentioned during this meeting that production of the new electric car will start in 2023 for a retail price of $5,000. Further, it was also stated that the manufacture and deployment of Tesla's fully autonomous driving system would play a huge role in the availability of the new model. And the question was even asked, do we want to have a steering wheel and floor pedals? According to Musk, the new Tesla will be equipped with a completely unsteering wheel, and it is highly likely that it will be equipped this way in the future. There was an image released by Tesla a year ago showing a dashboard without turning wheels or pedals, suggesting that the vehicle will have no steering and no pedals. According to Tesla, a vehicle such as this will be available within two years. 
In addition, in general, the lighter the car is, the faster it will accelerate since the motor will have a smaller mass to move, which leads to a faster acceleration. In order to keep the cost of this new Tesla as low as possible, it is likely that it will only use one electric motor. But that does not mean that it will be a slow car. While the Model 3 Standard Range Plus only has one electric motor, it still has the capacity of going from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.3 seconds. On the other hand, it takes almost half a second more for any new Honda Civic Type R to arrive at that point. Therefore, it is very likely that this new car will be even faster, considering its lighter chassis and high-tech batteries. According to Musk, Tesla's new electric car will be fully autonomous, with a price tag of $5,000. Tesla is currently working on the release of its full self-driving beta software to its wider fleet in the United States by the end of the month. As soon as the software is released, which still requires the driver's attention, Tesla will use data from the fleet to improve the software and ensure that it is substantially safer than human drivers in order to win regulatory approval for its use as a fully self-driving system. The developments on this front will determine whether the new Tesla will come with a steering wheel or not, depending on how far the company advances. Musk said, This has always been our dream since the beginning of Tesla. It has always been our aim to provide an affordable electric car. Additionally, as was mentioned before, Tesla's announcement included some impressive battery breakthroughs, such as a redesigned cell design and process to streamline the manufacturing process. By the end of the year, the company predicts that these improvements will result in a 54% increase in battery range and a 56% reduction in battery prices per kilowatt hour. According to Shiv Patel, a research analyst at ABI Research, a vehicle like this would require a battery costing $5,000. That may be overly ambitious over the course of a decade, he says. But as we all know, it is none other than Elon Musk, and this man transforms the impossible into the possible. Remember when he almost went bankrupt for his company SpaceX, and everyone predicted that he was not going to have a successful company? But today, the man is the richest person on the planet, and he takes home millions of dollars each day. But even so, as we know, Tesla's impeccable punctuality is one of its most distinctive features. Therefore, we don't know what might change Musk's plans in the future. In spite of the fact that there are still a lot of unknowns about the upcoming car, there are some hints that are very promising. Anyway, what do you guys think about this? Tell us in the comments. And make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for us to provide you with more must-know developments in finance and technology. And we'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace.